Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ryan, welcome back to more Animal Crossing for the GameCube. It's raining in game and it's raining in real life. Hopefully it shouldn't be coming too strong for you guys. Uh, but yeah, no, it's currently thundering outside, which is a pretty rare sight in the UK. But I will take it because the heat has been unbearable and usually thunderstorms mean you know, the temperature's gonna take a dip overnight, which I will more than take. So um, yeah, hopefully you're doing well though. Um, I know I am. And uh, yeah, uh, pretty much it's just gonna be a chill episode, which is what I need. It's roasting today, and like, it still partially is, you know, my room is very good at retaining heat, and also, you know, um, not very good at losing it. That, that was the same sentence twice, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, you can tell the heat's getting to me. But, no, the TLDR is, I'm warm, my brain's partly fried, and I work today. It's like, it's like the double whammy of, <laughs> yeah, you ain't doing anything of note today, mister. It's like, I say I'm gonna edit a Neuramic 2 video, and that's when the sun comes out. It's like, I'm just saying, if you want it to be sunny in the UK, I may or may not know method. Is it superstitious? Absolutely, but it's like, it's true. It's like, anytime I want to work on um, the video I'm meant to be doing, it's just like, like, hell you ain't. You're gonna go downstairs, you're gonna get an ice cold drink, and you're going to stay there for an hour and fall asleep for another three. It's like, why? I want to be productive. Why must you do this to me? But you know, um, apparently, apparently, that is the way of the world. Oh, either way, um, yeah. Hopefully, this heat went so poor, I get better at handling, though, because I suck at heat. Like, it's not even been that warm today, but I think I've got, like, um, like a very tiny heat rash, and it's like, huh. All I did was stand around and work all day. Admittedly, like an idiot, um, I forgot to turn the aircon on or open any windows, so I was just cooking um, in there, but, you know, I, I learned 30 minutes before my shift ended. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very functional, um, if you can't tell, you know. I'm back there tomorrow, and I will remember to open the windows so I can remain cold, God damn it! Now, ooh, we haven't caught that bug before, but no sound like the present. Oh, yeah, no, I forgot. It's, um, literally exclusively in City Folk that you can't, for some reason, stalk with the net. Huh. Either way. Ooh, a ball. Now I've added it to a pond. Cinema. <laughs> yeah, no, this is going to be a very low-key episode, because I am just generally a bit cooked, if that didn't already come across. Because I was genuinely considerate, um, considering making, because um, I have a tall shaker for G Fuel, right? And the idea is, is you make 1.5 servings in it. I was planning to make one serving in it, and stuff the rest with ice. Like, and I'm sure if I show, like, the current temperature, or I got a current temperature reading, um, like, some of you, uh, like, the American viewers, you'd be like, it's like normal weather over here, and that's true. However, as a British person, I cannot stand the heat, and less so can our buildings. So, like, whatever the temperature is over here is usually like the equivalent to a lot higher than how it would be in America. Like I said, my attic is like mostly designed, I'd say, um, to hold in heat during the winter. Does it do that job? No. Holds in heat very well in the summer, just not the winter. <laughs> um, but um. Yeah, no, like, that's how our houses are designed, whereas in the US, I think it's a bit more of, like, an even kind of split. Yeah, okay, okay, goodbye, Weber. Um, but yeah, no, it just means in summer, oh my god, we are, we are dying. And it's like, is it silly of us? Yes. Yes, it is. And I would know, because if you don't, if you haven't been able to surmise from that sentence, I'm in the attic, and I'm boiling. But we will persevere. Got to get those videos out either way, you know, the grind never truly stops. Unless, you know, I fall asleep, in which case, yes, yes it does. It was siesta o'clock, apparently, um, earlier today. It's like, ooh! And look at me go with the actual prep! God damn! I am spamming the A button like you would not believe. Oh! Now that is delicious, you gotta agree. I love it when it lines like that. Just for, you know, it's like, can't kind of go into the store, we're probably not gonna be shoveling stuff back and forth this episode, we may as well take a chance, and oh, that chance paid off. Save us having to look for the rest of the episode, though, so, you know, I'd say that works out. Although, it's like, oh, that 10k, oh, so good. If you put the time in every day, oh, that, that is a merry little payment, you know, it's like, it's like, what, 13, 14,000 bells? It's like, not bad. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to think what else I was up to today. Um, I was mostly working. Um, yeah, I was going to go out with some friends, but by the time I got out of work, it was like, yeah, no, it's like 6.30. I'll be there for like half seven, and I'm working in the morning again. Maybe next time. No, 
also saves me cash. Um, although, um, the other day I did, um, well, I say the other day, yesterday, um, I went to um, an arcade. Um, I think I said this in the Fall Guys video, but I know that everyone watches both series. No, I went into an arcade with a, like, a bar attached on like the adults only night, and it was very cool. Very novel idea. Very profitable one, too. Like, they weren't even overcharging. There was just a lot of people in there, and it's like, huh, there are hot gamers in my local area. The adverts were right. <laughs> No, like, I definitely want to go back, though. Um, it's cool. <clears throat> Again, like, summer's starting. Um, a lot of friends are coming home from university. You know, I know I'll be free and whatnot. And I just want, I want to really make, make the most of summer, you know? Like, um, I'm not sure, because, I mean, I've already talked about the US versus um, UK comparison. Um, do any of you US viewers know what the fuck a weather spoons is? Because, oh my god, you're going to be in love with this idea, let me tell you. Not as much as the UK is, but, um... Like, when I, when I think of summer in the UK, I think of that institution. Um, basically, so we have, like, pubs, and they exist. But, like, arguably the biggest chain of pubs in the UK. See, you see what I start about Weatherspoons? Because it's a long topic, and it gets me through Blathers' dialogue. But, um, basically, cheap alcohol, cheap food, and a lot of seats. And to top it off, you can order it at your table. Um, so they get all the people in the door, and those low prices kind of even out. And it's cool. You can go in, they have, like, um, literally anything. And, like, the vibe in there is always quite nice. Like, they're quite consistent in vibe. And I could not tell you for the life of me what exactly the vibe of one is. They just have, like, their own brand of, like, a vibe. And it, it, it's cool. I, I like them. Um, I was literally kind of like, eh. Like, my opinion on alcohol is still iffy. Like, I'm not super big a fan of consistently going out and getting drunk. I think in moderation, cool, but don't get hammered every single night of the week. It's like, what are you doing? But no, my opinion's definitely gonna open them for time, but they're just... It is good. And it's definitely good to get a few friends out, especially as I'm in uni and want to watch my money. It's like, yeah, huh, I will have three drinks for £10. It's like, that's like, pretty good. Um, and yeah, no, it's like, it's just nice. Um, I remember, um, this would have been... It's weird to talk about this, like, it's so far in the past, but... Like, about two years ago in the summer, um, just as COVID was lifting, I have not already donated one of them, as if. Uh, but no, I remember, like, two years ago in the summer, we went to Weatherspoons with, like, uh, one of my older friend groups, so it's like, they've all gone their separate ways since and whatnot, but, um, genuinely, we kind of went in, we sat down, I was still a bit apprehensive towards alcohol as a whole, also because I forgot my ID, um, so I was just kind of mooching off other people's cocktail pictures, and I was like, yes, Mr. Bartender, I am over 18, but you have no way to verify that, so yes, I am having coke, and then when they walk away, it's like, haha, Malibu. <laughs> um, not sure if I should admit to that, but, um, I was over 18 at the time. And that's what matters. I mean, there's another thing. It's crazy that in the US, like, you have to be 21 to drink. Don't make, don't get me wrong, stops people being pissheads. But, like, yeah. Also, all three of those fossils got accepted. God damn. But, yeah, no, it's, it's weird to, like, there's different age limits for different things versus the US and UK. Like, um, I think generally our age limits are quite low. Like, if you were to ask me personally, um, I think... We will, like, I think, sure, you can drink at 18. Well, because, like, I, I don't know. Um, but I, like, I think they let people start gambling over here at 16 and buying vapes and cigs. And it's like, uh huh. I think maybe giving them the extra half a decade before giving them access to things that they can get easily addicted to is maybe the right shout with that. But hey, who am I to disagree? Fun that economy, am I right, boys? <laughs> Oh god, this, uh, look, this, 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 like, country is in shambles. However, the one thing we've got is cheap alcohol on occasion. Um, I mean, I work in a bar. Okay. Uh, oh, I want to get that fossil. It's like, I work in a bar. I know the return on investment they make. If you want a cheap night out and want to get drunk, buy your own. That's my advice for the day. I've seen the return investment on investments we make on shots. It's a conscious part of my job description to remove the RRP label if somebody else forgets to. Because trust me, if you saw the price we buy those bottles for, and what we're selling them back to you for... Oh, you won't open your own boss so bad. Uh, anyway, what the fuck are you? Oh, jeepers, I didn't know anyone else was camping around here. How are you? My name's Candy. I'm sorry, so you know, roll myself up in the old sleeping bag and turn in pretty soon. Camping's tiring. Not as tiring as trying to get in camp food, though. How do you open these things, anyway? Well, Candy, it was a pleasure knowing you if you've got any more words of wisdom. I'm so glad you're here. We're definitely going to need your help. 
I never go camping without totally planning out my trip first, but the one thing I never leave time for is interaction with my fellow outdoors enthusiasts. I know you're not camping, but I was hoping we could interact, you know, by playing a game together. How about it, sweetie? Sure, why not? Great, now to give this place the sitting around a campfire feel, I'm going to tell you a story about camping. I can usually get the story right, but sometimes I mess up, so bear with me, sweetie. Once I'm done with the story, you'll have to guess how it turned out. I just hope I can remember all of it. If you're right, I'll give you a present, but if you're wrong, you have to buy something from me. Does that sound fair? Sure. So, you know, I do most camping and hiking. Most of the time, I go hiking with these two friends of mine. One of them is a wolf and the other is a bear. Neither of them are quite as hardcore as me, but they're cool. So anyway, this one time we went hiking and it started out all beautiful and everything, sweetie. Well, we were climbing this mountain that had all the snow and stuff on it, plus lots of rocks. When we got up to the top, the bear said we had to go right, and, and I think it was the bear. Well, I knew he was wrong, but my wolf then didn't believe me, so we went right. I'm pretty sure it was right. Anyway, I got all foggy and it was so hard to see, we almost walked right off this cliff. I got us back on track, but we were way behind schedule, and then I think it started to get dark. And then the weather got really bad, and the wind was howling, and it was snowing, or was it thunder and lightning? Anyway, we're in the middle of the storm, when coming down the, from the mountain is copper. And maybe it's Porter, is, they said we should get off the mountain quick, sweetie. So my question is, who do you think wanted to keep climbing, me, wolf, or bear? You, probably. You think it was me? Nope, you were so... You know what, I think you're actually right. I guess you win, that means I have to give you something, don't I? I guess you can have this. I mean, of course it was going to be her. She said she was the most hardcore. Uh, what is this? Anyway, thank you for that candy. Um, stone tile. I mean, it's cheap, but, like, we didn't buy it, so, you know. Look on the bright side with these things. Um, that does remind me, though. Um, we've only found one fossil today, which is like, ooh, ooh we're below quota. Oh, no. So, hmm. Where could... The other two or three of these be, because I like money. Fossils are like, are like obviously we got we like pretty lucky and we um ended up donating all of them to the museum this episode. Like our collection will come along nicely, but it's like we need to make money somehow week on week. Cherries ain't gonna fund themselves. We need them fossils. Huh? Oh, I've I've been using B to sprint this entire series, and I've just realised I can use back trigger to tr sprint as well, and it feels a lot less intense to hold down. Huh. I'm gonna bear that in mind, because that's actually kind of helpful. Either way, come on, there's gonna be a fossil around here, right? Like, surely our haul for the week is not gonna cap out at one. As if. I mean, it's entirely possible I didn't just in denial. Um, really? I, no. No chance. Ugh. Like, maybe I've just walked past them in the heat, you know, maybe too delirious to notice, but... Hello, Apollo. Le chunky as ever, I see, but... Huh. Right, we got the area near our house and the post office to search, but if that's not it... I don't know. I do not know. I mean, I suppose even if we don't make too much money this episode, at the very least we end up getting the uh, the money rock. Like, the full load as well, you know, that extra 10k. Oh, it's it just... It's so good, man. It's like... Mmm. I love it. Pick this up as well, because free money is free money, and off we go. I'm trying to think, is there anything to talk about, like, as of current? Oh, they announced, like, the Persona 3 remake. Not sure if I mentioned that, or, um, the fact they announced a new Persona 5 game. At least they will have by the time you've seen this video. I'm talking about the leaked versions, but knowing my upload schedule, you're seeing this, like, the day it's announced, so, um... Hey. <laughs> yeah, I just realized that wasn't the official announcement, that was the social media intern, um putting to Instagram early. Which is like, yeah, he didn't see the next morning, did he? Oh, KK, it is a Saturday, actually, and A. Ask, well, complain enough and you will receive. Um, actually, ooh, good job we are finding these this episode. Like, even as an added thing, it'll, what's it called? Um, because next episode there's a chance they might be gyroids because it's rained. Let's see, we think, we think. But yeah, no, they announced those two new games, and honestly, I like the look of them. There's been, like, some complaints about certain factors in them, and this will... It's kind of hard to explain, so I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. Um, if you're familiar with Persona, you don't have to bear with me. I just want to explain it to everyone else who are on the same page. The Persona 5 game, as far as I'm aware, people care less, but Persona 3 is, like, it's one of those games that's got so many different editions, and those editions have so many differing things. No one can agree on which version is the best. You either like the PS2's second version or the PSP version. 
and that is it. There is like no further room for discussion. Like the original is the original. It is like just simply inferior to the re-release of the PS2 version that added a few extra things. And also that one's available on the PS3 online store. Like any version of the game until recently was kind of just cripplingly unavailable on the most digital storefronts. And then they brought out Portable, which was the PSP version. And people complained. And this comes around to the remake, but people complained, and I think rightfully so, because Portable looks like a PSP game. It's not very well presented. Um, it's watered down for PSP. You're missing like 3D worlds and stuff. Um, although it does have direct gameplay improvements in space of that, so you can directly control your party members. Um, and it gave you a, an additional way to play the game, and that was a female character. Now, what's looking to be the case with this remake is that they are keeping, allowing you directly to control your party members, which is cool. I am pretty confident they're going to be keeping the original voice cast as well, which is like, hell yeah. Um, at least as many of them as they can, um, because I know the, the voice acting in any version of the game is not, like, amazing, unless it's one of the spin-offs that came out recently, but, um, I, I, I think the voice actors in that game have a certain charm to it. Um, that aside, uh, damn, we're rolling it. But they seem to be keeping the directly control your party other than vaguely guide them, which was, like, the main critique of the PS2 version, um, and, you know, making it in 3D, which is the main critique of the PSP version. There's just one issue. First of all, it's in development for the issue, but it doesn't look... It looks alright, but it's not like, knock your socks off. It needs a little bit of polish, and I think we will probably get that in the build-up to release. It's just things like environment, lighting, slight UI tweaks, so it just seems a bit more intuitive and appealing, but like, it definitely does not look anywhere close to unfinished. It's just a few more tweaks to make it feel a bit more at home, and I think I think they've got it in the back. However, in the trailer, which was leaked, um... They only show the male protagonist, um, which is how it was for the PS2 version. And you're either split on this, celebrating the fact that the female protagonist is in the game, or you're really annoyed that she isn't. And um, there's a few different speculations, like maybe she'll be DLC, maybe she'll be in the re-release version that Persona usually do. A few different things like that. Um, but as I stand, I want to I chip in on this controversy. Um, at least for me, from what I have seen and played of the PSP version, in that route, it's just really tacky. And that might get me lynched. I know, controversial opinion here. The game was designed for, like, the entire game was written for this one character, but to justify people rebuying the game on a new platform, they basically just gave it a new coat of paint, redid some portions of the dialogue and stuff, and then kept the story mostly the same, with, like, a few changes here and there. The most they did was like some new music tracks and then some new social links. Um, the gameplay stayed fundamentally the same. It was designed to be something decently like easy to implement to justify them reselling you the game at full price. Um, but to me, a lot of it still feels like an afterthought. Like you can tell what was originally within like the creative vision and then what was made with, I think it was a different team that made the PSP version, but it just feels a bit detached. Like Persona 3 is not an overtly happy game. And, like, everything about this character is like, I love the world! I'm so happy! And, um, like, the, the, the character social links just seem, like, across the board, a little bit weaker. And, like, to me, there is not much differing to justify its existence. It's just, like, it's a different coat of paint. And I think it, it wasn't as well as I thought it should have been, and maybe this could have been their chance to flesh it out. But I think, like, fully, if it means we get a good base game Persona 3 thing, um, I do not mind them scrapping it, um, just because the initial concept and its execution wasn't for me, so, yeah. Um, if they are able to refine it and prove me wrong, by all means, but if they were just going to lift it, like, pretty much beat for beat from the PSP version, then I don't particularly want them to spend time on that, when they could just make the actual game itself a bit better, sell it to us as DLC later for all I care, I'm sure they'll find a way. <laughs> um, yeah, that might get me lynched, but, yeah. Um, I think I think the most egregious thing they did, though, with that character is that on the male route, spoiler alert, in a game about a lot of people dying, someone dies. Um, but if you play specifically as the um, female protagonist, you can just I fucking ignore it. You can just ignore it. Not on the guy route, only on the girl route. She, he just doesn't die. I mean, there's some other instance of that, but at least that's on both characters, but to me it's just funny. It's like, 
Ah, I have been faithfully injured. You're a guy. Peace out, see you in the afterlife. Oh, you're a female. I guess I can hang it until the ambulance gets here. I mean, what's five more minutes? You know, it's like, eh? Eh? It just, that is not how it was originally written in the game. And just, it's like, them changing it. It's like, you know, cool, break in the timeline. Did you think about how to make that break in the timeline rewarding? Like, hell you did. <laughs> um... I thought that's, that's just me, but um, let me know, are you interested in the Persona 3 remake? What do you personally think? Do you agree with my take on the female protagonist? Do you not, or do you not have a single clue what Persona is? Comment any of those down below, it gets my engagement up. <laughs> God, I sound like such a scumbag when I do that, I swear it's for the bit. Um, It's like, I, you know, sounding desperate is just funny, because it's like, should I really sound desperate? I only have 903 subscribers. Um, That reminds me, uh, while I'm de-weeding, you know, if it all helps and all that jazz. Um, 900 subscriber special is coming. Uh, I may be bundling in an additional video with it as well. Um, depending. Um, so I've got to do one for 850. Uh, I'm thinking one is going to be how we make the videos updated version. I think it's going to be 900. And then 850 is going to be a guide by me on what is worth watching on the channel. Or like most worth watching. Uh, giving a decent range of stuff from like past, present, different genres and stuff. Um, I think that'd be better. The original idea for that was a tier list and then we scrapped it, but I think doing the upper echelon and saying, if you want to check out the channel, this is what you get. And then, like, not even really acknowledge the rest of stuff. Like, it's there if you want to seek it out, but it's like, here's the good shit, because we obviously have had a load of influx of people recently. Here's good stuff. Here's why I think it's good. Go check it out. Here are some links. And then the other one is, how much is my video making process involved over the years? And like the fun ins and outs and behind the scenes stuff. I just think it both of those are kind of fun videos. One serves more of a purpose, like drive engagement, than the other. I think I can get them done pretty quickly. And yeah. Um God, the idea of hitting a thousand soon is daunting, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there in like a few months. Ugh. It's it's as scary to me as it is you. Uh, but we are going to end this one here uh, before we linger on that too long. But if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps out a bunch. Let's me know that you want to see more of this and all of the good stuff. And just like some of those on the other side. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Ramek and peace out. And I should have paced myself better. I tried. I tried. But I failed. But yeah, no. I'm going to do it in normal speed this time. Yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. It all genuinely does help out a bunch. And in normal speed this time. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Aramic, and peace out.